Hi Floss Tube, hi Stitchy friends, it's Jennifer and I'm stitching in the bluegrass. It is a hot day in Kentucky and um, I'm staying inside because I do not like the heat and the humidity that is in Kentucky. Like, listen to my voice. It sounds horrible because allergy season is here for me and I am now indoors. I think um, through the rest of the weekend, it's going to be in the 90s. Nope, not for me. Um, some people like the summer. My mom loves the summertime. She hates the winter. I am the complete opposite. Um, it's just how it is. So I had some really good light, I think, in here in the uh, back family room. So I was going uh, to film in here today. So I have quite a bit to show. Um, it's been longer than I wanted um, between videos and that's because May is a very busy month for us. Um, we have um, our oldest son, uh, his birthday is in May. The Kentucky Derby is in May. Thankfully it was this year. Um, our anniversary, our four year wedding anniversary is actually today. Uh, May the 20th, 2017. So, um, let's see, something else is in May. I feel like I'm forgetting something big. Um, but we've just had a lot going on. Um, we are trying to uh, move. We want to kind of move outside of the city of Louisville. Um, it's kind of bittersweet, I guess. This is our first home that we had together. Um, I lived in a house before, like a little small shotgun house. And uh, when I was single and just, that's all I needed. And we ended up moving here because we got an offer on that house. Like it wasn't even on the market and we got an offer on my little shotgun house, which we were thankful for, but we had to move like really fast. Um, and I love this house. I wish we could pick up this house and move it, um, but we would like at least an acre um, just for a little bit more enjoyment outside, uh, not in the summer, <laughs> unless we get a pool. That would be nice. Um, so there's been a lot of things going on in May. Oh, and Mother's Day was in May. So. Um, I have a lot to share. It's, I'm trying to think of any more life events. Uh, Jersey is off of her steroids now. Um, a lot of you have asked and I so appreciate it. This is uh, her second round of steroids in a year, I guess. And uh, we just, we don't know. They still don't know what causes it. it we don't know if it's going to be a lifetime thing, if she's going to have to keep doing it, or if it's an allergy to something, or a bug bite, or a bee sting. Like, we, we, we have no idea. We don't know. Um, but, and I've been roller skating. Yay! It's been so much fun. So, when I was a kid, we used to roller skate all the time um, like mom took me to the rink and I had birthday parties at the rink it was just a part of being a kid which for most of us that was what we did um, and I picked it up again because it's just fun and I needed some fun in my life and mom and I went to the rink last weekend together as an adult and I had the best time ever. Um, she put on her skates and she was like right back to when she was a teenager. Like she didn't have any <laughs> trouble. <laughs> like she taught me a couple things and was telling me things that I was doing wrong, things that I was doing right. Uh, but we had we had the best time with the best mother-daughter day in a long time um, Just 
I don't know, just doing something fun and brings tears to my eyes. Like just doing something fun that you don't really think about doing as an adult because of stress and bills and worry and it costs like six dollars to go up to the rink and skate it was so much fun i don't know why i'm getting teary-eyed about that <laughs> but anyway um let's talk about cross stitching this is a channel about cross stitch <laughs> um i like i said uh so jen lee at quirks and stitches uh, on Instagram and YouTube. She had her 24 hours of cross stitch uh, marathon and I always participate in that. That's so much fun. I don't usually always get the 24 hours in but it's still a lot of fun and I enjoy it and Jen is such a sweetheart and to the this community and uh, I love catching up with her and her mom but let's see I'm gonna show you, so for, sorry, I'm looking down because my stuff's to the side of me. Um, I started a lot of small samplers. That was my kind of like stitch mania, uh, 24 hours of cross stitch combo. Uh, I wanted to get um, a lot of my small samplers that I had picked out started. And I think I got like four or five, anyway, we'll go through them. I did get a finish, and I will show you my finish first. This is Heartstring Samplery. Um, it is called Thou God Seest Me. And I finished it. I had so much fun working on this. Um, this is the one that I took to the scrapbook retreat um, but this is what I have. I love it. I love the colors. It's just, it was such a cute little sampler. I just, I had to stitch it. So, um, I put my initials in here. She gives you the, like, the full alphabet. I put 2021 when I finished it. But I really enjoyed this. It did not take any time at all. It was super fast, like, I don't know. Let's see, I started it on Easter, uh, which was the 4th, and I finished it on the 20th. So, super cute, super fun. Um, so let's go through my starts, my samplers, sampler starts. Um, this one is A Fine Farmhouse by Kathy Barrick. Um, I bought this from her uh, Etsy shop. So I don't have a color printer. Printer? That didn't sound right. But yes, it's a printer. Um, this is what it will look like when I'm finished. So I have the house, I have the swans done, and I'm moving down here. So I just have this section left. And I'm doing this on, I know it's Be Stitch Me fabric, but I don't know why I didn't write the name down. Um, but this is what I have, yeah. The lighting in here is really good today, especially for the pattern. Um, so yeah, I did, I'm doing this in honor of Black Black. We have not seen him in a long time. So if you don't know, um, if you're new, welcome. <laughs> but I had a, a duck, a white duck, that we live um, at the end of our street. There's a pay lake and there's always, um, yeah, that's better up there there's always like animals. The other day we found it, we had a turtle in our backyard. Like there's turtles and ducks and all kinds of stuff. But we have lived here five years and have not seen one snake. And there's a huge field behind our house. I am so excited about that because I do not do that. Nope. Um, 
so anyways, I'm doing this in honor of Black Black, who was a little white duck. He was kind of injured and we kind of babied him and bought him some food and a house and made him a bed and but we have not seen him in a long time so I don't have much more to go on that one uh, and I love Kathy Barrick uh, if you've been around my channel for a while you know that she's just my favorite um, recently I have been on a Lottie Da and Not Forgotten Farm kick and I so here is another one of my small samplers that I started. This is Sepia Sampler, Not Forgotten Farm. And I have started on it, love it. Um, I'm stitching this on 36 count R&R linen in the color French Vanilla. Sorry, I got my string. Uh, but this is what I have so far. So I got a lot of the border done. So that bottom border there is as far as it goes. And I love this, love this linen. So pretty. Um, I love the sampler. I started this on April the 26th. And the next one I absolutely love as well. <laughs> I'm loving these small samplers. They are so much fun and it gives me my sampler addiction kick and not like, I know that I can get these accomplished very fast. Um, this is Sheepish, Sheep, this is hard to say, Sheepish Designs and it's called Meg's Bunny. I was trying to look at the, the I think I shared the date with you guys the last time but I don't maybe not 1988 so this to me this just shows you that samplers are they're classic okay I will try to hold this still I'm just talking away you try to see the pattern and I keep moving but uh, I love this. So I have one uh, side of the strawberries done. And so this is what I have. I love them. Look how dainty they are. So cute. And this is stitched on 36 count legacy linen in the color Russian tea cake. It is so pretty. Um, you can get the legacy linen, not the color, but the company. Um, you can get, I'm sure you can get it elsewhere, but they do have it on one, two, three stitch. And that's where I got mine. Um, another sampler I started it's a Lottie Daw. It's called With You. I love this so much. Let me take it out of the plastic. That one is a little bit shiny. This is in the Lord said to Moses, I am with you. Sometimes I need to hear that. Every day. <laughs> Every day I need to hear that. Um... And I have most of the border done. So I was trying to get it, the, all the border done before I shared it with you, but um, this is what I have. So I just need to fill in my pinks down at the bottom. But I do love it. And this is 36 count Eureka linen by Fox and Rabbit. I'm trying to show off the linen a little bit. It has like a little bit of a yellowish tint. It looks so good with these colors. Um, so yeah. 
another small sampler. And then I have, I did, I've shared this before. Um, so those were all new starts since I last seen you. Small, small sampler mania, 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, I did a little bit more on my Sarah Watson. I know it's not a color, uh, but this is Whilst Iris Naps. And I love it. Um, you guys know I fell in love with the colors of this one. I mean, sorry, they're a little, but I just love these. I love these colors. And this is what I have. I finally got down to the bottom. Put something behind it. So I'm super excited about this one. Look at that. So I finally got down to the bottom to those little motifs. Um, I've had so much fun stitching on this. so pretty um let me see i have my note no i don't i don't remember what fabric i'm stitching on let's see if i wrote it down i did not um i don't remember i have it somewhere it's probably on my instagram i'm sure but look at those colors. So pretty. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed that one. Um, absolutely love it. I mean, the colors, they're so bright and fun and like those jewel tone rich rich colors and let's see the last is this the last yeah the last start i have um is the scarlet sorry my brain went somewhere else um the scarlet house the little deed sampler and i started this with one of my very best friends that I met through stitching, uh, Michael Bailey. She is Sweet Woodruffs on Instagram. But we started this together, um, we started this on May the 7th. So I love this. I, I think Laura finished this one from Brenda and the Serial Starter. Uh, but we we had seen this a while back and we both purchased it and just didn't have uh, time to start because we had other things going on but we finally did and this is stitched um, it's called the called for linen is confederate gray and I had a piece of confederate gray but it was not big enough so I used 36 count Aspen and it's very it's very similar to Confederate gray but the Aspen just has a little tinge of green um, so this is what I have and let me tell you Michael is almost finished with hers already but this is what I have I'm getting there I love this. I've loved every stitch. If you're looking for a sweet small sampler, this one takes the cake. I love it. So, okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but if I hold it a certain way, you can see the white in the alphabet. And I love how it's kind of faded out. And that is how it looks on you know on the pattern it's supposed to do that if you don't like it change the color 
no biggie but I like it and I'm using all the called for colors except the white and I'm using make sure I get the name right um, color and cotton uh, but this is a new color and cotton color that they just came out with and it is called pearl white I don't know how to show that but this is the white that I'm using But the, everything else is called for. But I've had so much fun working on this. I love, I just love all these little small samplers. They're so sweet. Um, but tell me in the comments if you guys like working on small samplers. Let me know. Um, or like if you have a favorite small sampler, maybe maybe I need to get that. <laughs> so um, I don't I don't have really much haul. I do have a couple things I want to share. Um, I like to see. I like I personally like to see haul. Some people don't, but I especially like to see fabric haul because I like to see it in person rather than a picture, you know, on the internet because it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, but I got this is picture this plus 36 count fresco Let's see what's a good way to show this There we go. That looks really good. I Really like this Very pretty so I I was kind of lacking on some linen and I found some on Etsy at Hollis Hands Creates. Um, they're kind of like my go-to shop on Etsy, maybe. I mean, I like to spread the money around, but um, this is Shrekies Tan. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. 36 count. Uh, it has very little modeling. There, that's better. But it's such a pretty color pretty 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 color and you know my friend Michelle McGraw you know how much she loves murky I've been looking for murky linen forever and I found some and I grabbed it so this is my murky linen. I need to find something awesome to put on this. Maybe, um, maybe like a red sampler or a white sampler, which I do have a white sampler. Um, but I was so excited that they had some murky. I had to get it. just looks stormy like a like not even really like I don't see Halloween when I look at this I just see like like cozy <laughs> I'm weird <laughs> I see cozy like a thunderstorm outside and you're inside and you're reading a book and you're cross stitching on your murky I need to get out of the house so let me do, I will say that I go back to in-person work in June, like the middle of June. Um, so that's gonna be different because I've working, been working from home for, what, almost two years? Has it been two years? No. It has been a year and a half. Is that right? I can't keep up anymore. Um, I did get my Bestitch Me fabric. Um, I do the 36 count linen fabric of the month club. Um, and this is bronze age. 
and this is gorgeous let me just say love it so pretty I, I love Brandy's fabric so I forgot to write down the name but I saw someone hopefully I will be able to find it and put it on um, in the comments in the comment section or not the comments what's it called the description but I saw her working on this and she finished it and I asked her where can I get this I need it and um, I did ask her if I could mention her on my floss tube just so you know um, and she said yes so I will put her and her Instagram name at the bottom so you can go and see her wonderful work but oh, look how pretty I don't why do I like this it's ABC's but it I love the font I just love it's kind of blurring but I just I love it and hers looks so good And y'all, where'd it go? Oh no, oh here it is. I splurged. <laughs> I splurged for the silk. I've never stitched with silk before. Um, this is, I will tell you what it's called for. It calls for, um, it's stitched on 35 count Havana linen and one strand of needlepoint silk and oh here it is needlepoint silk 998 or you can use DMC 310 but since I've never stitched with silk before I had, I had to get it um, I guess it's just like it almost has a gray like a gray black color you cannot tell from here it just looks black but it is gorgeous and I had to get it well I didn't have to but I figure it was a great way to try silk because I only need this little guy and it I didn't need like you know 10 colors or whatever so I just need to get me some linen and get that thing started because it's beautiful um, I that's all the haul that's all the haul I have just a little bit of linen in that one pattern like I said because we're trying to pinch pennies and not that we have to pinch pennies, but because we're trying to move, we're trying to be a little bit more frugal. Um, but I did kit up two, um, here's, sorry, here's the note for the Sarah Watson, the fabric is 36 count parchment. I knew I had this little card, so I make, I shared I think a couple times ago a couple of videos ago that I make these little cards and I write my information on them and I just throw them in my project bag but this was another small sampler that I have kitted up but I didn't I haven't started yet but I will because it's still May and this is Lottie Da Backyard Birds I got this from Stash Unload this is a 2003 pattern so I have my fabric ready and this is more of be stitch me and I think this one is peanut I think it's peanut but and then I have my colors ready so they're like browns and greens, and 
It's like a really light gray, and then this pop of like blue green. So I will start that one. These are my plans. And uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, yes, I do. So <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, yesterday, I posted on my Instagram story that Lucy Beam, um, Rebecca Noland, she had a, 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 a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she had a sale in her Etsy account. And um, I ran over there and I got it. I did not have a color printer, but this is what it is. I, I posted it on my Instagram story so you can see the colors of this but I kitted it up I have my 36 count legacy linen it calls for um, heritage but legacy and heritage are pretty pretty similar to me and look at these colors <gasps> I love these look and I only had one of the called for color but I did my own conversion I looked them up and tried to get similar uh, colors I didn't go like anything odd um, but most of these are color and cotton threads that I chose and I had the one little weeks <laughs> that I needed this is teal frost but I am super excited about my colors that I chose. I mean, I love these, the green, the red, look at this. Mm. I cannot wait to, I, I will probably, maybe I'll start this today, maybe. It just depends. I got a couple boxes packed. Um, we're trying to kind of clear out the house a little bit. You know how they say to get rid of your personal items and whatnot. Um, but I put this in my gear on tote bag. I love it. Those sunshine stitchers, they are pure sunshine, I tell you. If, if you have not checked out their floss tube, do. It's, um, they're just sunshine stitchers Gary Shelia and EJ and they're just a ray of sunshine um, I think that is that all that's all I did get some happy mail um, from Lisa and her floss tube is I can't think of it. I'll put it in the description box. But I'm sure you guys know her. Um, but she was so sweet. And she knows how much that... I cannot believe I can't think of her floss tube name. But her name is Lisa. Um, she sent me... She knows how much I love my stitching tree. We have taken down the stitching tree last night and packed it up. That was kind of sad. Um, but she sent me a bunch. I can't show them because they are the pattern. But thank you, Lisa, so much for these. Um, I love them. She knows how much that I like stitching littles for my tree. So she sent me a bunch of little ones. Um, she did send me some stuff for anxiety, and I appreciate that so much. I mean, this is how the stitching community works. Like, you get some happy mail from your internet stitching friends, and I just love it. Um, giveaway, remember this? So, I posted my finish last video and I would like to pass this along I will add a clip in to the end of this video um, of the winner 
so because I don't have the paper in front of me because <laughs> that's how things work um, that is all I have I hope you guys had a great time with me today. I love watching floss tube videos and looking at stitching on Instagram and like, I just, I just love this community. Um, never have I met, you know, to each his own, but I never have I met a greater group of girls. Um, and you have to find your tribe, right? You find the ones that uplift you and the ones that encourage you and give you motivation and teach you. Like when I first started this, I was only stitching on linen, or <laughs> was only stitching on Ada. And now like 36 count linen is my jam uh, because of other stitchers that have encouraged me to try it. And I did, and I like it. And I still like my Ada. I don't like Lugana. I'd rather stitch on Ada or linen. But that's just preference. Anyway, I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with me today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of May. And hopefully next time it will not be this long in between videos. So until next time, guys. <laughs>